This is a demo of my new tool, ByteStat. ByteStat is a tool that will give you uh, some statistics about the bytes found in a file. So here you have the help. And like uh, my new tools now, it also comes with a, with a man page. So you do dash M and uh, you get to the man page. So I have a couple of files here. Let's start with uh, all.bin. So this is a file of 256 uh, bytes with all possible byte values from 00 to FF ordered uh, in increasing value. When I run uh, byte stat on that file, you get uh, some information. First of all, uh, you get uh, the count of each uh, value and you get by default the five uh, values uh, that are less, uh, least frequent and uh, five values which are the most frequent. Here of course, since all bytes appear just once, all byte value appear just once, uh, the, the frequency is the same. And then you get the size of the file and then you get here some calculated data for uh, the file like the entropy which is 8 that's the highest entropy you can have the amount of null bytes so there is one null byte the number of control bytes 27 control bytes in the file number of white space bytes 6 number of printable bytes 94 and the number uh, of high bytes so that's uh, bytes with the highest bit uh, set to 1 so that's uh, 128 another file here is uh, the file not random and that is actually just a repetition of uh, the all.bin file Let's take a look like this. So you can see from zero to FFF and then uh, it repeats. Like this. Then you get uh, similar data for uh, this file another file is uh, random this is just a file that contains uh, random values for bytes in a random order so if we try that one here you can see that you have some bytes here like byte CE, that's the one that is uh, the least prevalent. So this one appears only 242 times in the file. And here are the five less frequent uh, bytes and here are the five most frequent bytes like 75 here it appears 344 times in the file. The size of the file is seven 4752 bytes and if the size of a file is larger than the bucket size and the bucket size is by default 10k so 10240 then the file will be split in uh, buckets of uh, that size and in this file we can have seven buckets so this is the file size, this is the default bucket size, and this is the number of buckets, complete buckets uh, of uh, size 10,240 that are possible to find in the file. And then you have the calculations here again, entropy and other calculations for the complete file, but then also for 
the buckets. And here we have an entropy of 7.997180. That's the entropy for the complete file. But then if we calculate the entropy for each bucket, there is an entropy that is smaller. And the smallest one is 7.981543. Like while the largest one is 7.984125. And this bucket can be found at this position, so hexadecimal F000 into the file, while the highest entropy can be found at this position in hex 5000 into the file. And then again we have null bytes, control bytes, white spade bytes, printable bytes and high bytes, but each time the minimum value that is found in all of the buckets and here the maximum value that is found in all of the buckets. If those numbers are not that much different then you are dealing with a file that uh, is uh, homogeneous in its, uh, in its content so there are no parts in uh, the, the file where the, the randomness is higher than in, in other parts of, uh, of the file. Well, if you do that on a file like this one here, picture JPEG ransom, this is actually uh, a picture file that was uh, encrypted by ransomware. If we look with byte stats at that file, we can see that it has uh, overall high entropy, 7185519. So this could indeed be uh, encrypted or uh, compressed. But then there is also a bucket where the entropy is uh, rather low, 5.15. So that's certainly not random. And this can be found at uh, this location into the file. So this here, this overview, already tells us that although this file here has seemingly be encrypted by the ransomware and that it has a high entropy, that there are still places into the file where uh, the entropy is not that high, so that we have probably some structure in, uh, into the data. And we can list the entropy for each bucket. You can do that with the list option, like this. And then for each bucket, you can see here uh, the entropy. And here, for example, we already see that uh, bucket starting at 78000, the, the entropy is uh, getting lower. Now, apart from uh, this uh, entropy calculation, so you also have uh, a histogram. And so that's what you see in the first part here. Let's do this again on uh, random bytes, like this. And you have uh, these values here. Now, if these are just the five least frequency value, and five most frequent values. If you want to see them all, you use uh, option all, like that. And then you get the complete list of all the values, which is sorted by um, prevalence, right? from the least, least frequent to the most frequent. You can change that order by doing a descent option, the option, and then you have the inverse order. And you can also decide to not sort it by prevalence, but just by uh, the key. Then you have here the values itself that uh, are ordered. Now you can have 
files that have a very high entropy but which are still uh, containing bytes that are not randomly ordered but you will not discover that by looking at uh, the entropy and for that I also included the search for uh, simple sequences and a simple sequence is just a list of bytes where the difference between two consecutive bytes is uh, constant so for example uh, that the difference is always a zero or one or two and so on and uh, you do that with option s and if we run byte stat with option s on all we get here in the end the sequence uh, that is found and you can see that at position zero we find a sequence that is 256 bytes long and that the difference between two consecutive bytes is just one and here you have a dump of those first bytes so you see 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3 and so on so an increment of one so this tool here although it finds a file with the highest possible entropy is still able to locate some simple sequences and uh, thereby helping you to find structure into uh, files if we do that on the random we get a sequence of four bytes that's the longest sequence here that we can find because by default here you have the sequences that are found uh, sorted in uh, descending order and uh, the length of the sequence and that in uh, descending length and the longest one we found is uh, four bytes and uh, this is the value of that sequence and if we run this on our picture like this then we can see that we find find some very long sequences of uh, bytes here eight zero 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 eight zero 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 eight zero and so on so certainly not random data and we can also instruct here bytes that to order that's those sequences uh, by the key yeah. so the position and then here you can find the first 10 uh, sequences found in the file if you do all you also get to see all the sequences like this now a sequence of three bytes that is very common so we can say that the minimum sequence that we want to find is four bytes that doesn't seem to be the correct option let me check yeah, the option is not uh, dash n but dash f filter so the sequences of at least four bytes and then uh, we get uh, this output let's pipe this through less first we get the histogram and here we can uh, find some bytes so you can see already at uh, position 9bdf uh, we find some uh, bytes here which are uh, not random so that's uh, where you would start to look into the file to see uh, what you can find yeah always uh, those 8000 sequences here's another one
Okay, and here we get uh, other sequences. 